Hello, I'm Lauren Ativo, and this is Safety First, powered by Embrace Pet Insurance. Embrace knows that a well-trained dog is a safe dog, and that's why in today's video, we're going to talk about the importance of training your dog to come when called. And if your dog seems to ignore you right now, don't worry, we're going to start fresh from square one. Recall starts with you, because you need to become your dog's favorite place. Having a reliable recall will allow you to take your dog just about anywhere you can take your dog off leash. A frolic on the beach, an adventure in the forest, it's about more than just training. A dependable recall is your dog's ticket to freedom off leash. Come is one of the first and most important words for your dog to learn. Before we begin, have the following ready. Treat bag, clicker or your voice, an assortment of delicious treats or toys to use as a reward whatever your dog likes the best. We're going to start in a quiet and simple environment first, like your backyard, and then work towards more distracting environments. First, have the most delicious treats ready to reward. Back up and call your dog in a happy, enthusiastic voice. Click or say yes for your dog running to you. Adding a cue like come or here or hurry once your dog is running towards you predictably will help redefine your dog's recall word. And don't forget their reward. Hi! Yes! Very good girl! Very good, you go girl! To up your dog's game, let's add some distractions. With your dog on a harness and leash, put a few pieces of low value food, a toy, a snuffle mat, an interactive feeder, or something interesting for your dog on the ground away from you. Call your dog towards you and click or say yes once your dog starts running, and then reward with an even higher value treat. Practice calling your dog with a scary voice, a loud voice, a quiet voice. Practice sitting, standing, or even laying down. The key is to reward your dog every single time. And be super generous. As your dog masters recall, you can vary the distractions, locations, distance, and rewards to really take it to the next level and always keep your training sessions short and end on a positive note. Now, if your dog is having problems, here are a few simple rules to remember. Only call your dog for the activities they enjoy the most. Whether it's food, playing their favorite game, or a road trip adventure, always make sure coming when called equals happiness. Only call your dog when you are confident they will come. come. If you're unsure, Collect them until you have built a solid recall. You don't want your dog to think that listening is optional when it comes to recall. Only call your dog when you have a reward. Do you like doing a hard day's work for no pay? Neither does your dog. No one likes desperation. When you repeat your cues, your dog is learning that you don't mean it the first time. Come! You want your dog to respond immediately, not take their precious time. The same can be said for all cues, but come is the most important. You want your dog to choose you over the distraction willingly. And what better way to do this than to teach your dog it's always a party in your presence. Never punish, yell at, or force your dog to come. If you're upset with your dog, calmly put them on a leash and lead them away from wherever they were and think about what you can do next time to prevent that situation. Continue to reinforce good recall throughout your dog's life because you never know when this cue may actually save your dog's life. Thanks for watching. Remember, with force free, positive reinforcement methods, we can help empower our dogs by teaching them that making good choices is rewarding.